Through the wall, come on. Oh. Waited for me, yeah. Come on. Jesus. What's happening to me? I'm getting old. This is my luck. Another game. Again, I'm joining game that is ending. Kill the cops and kill him. Oh yeah. No. I don't even have time to call UAV. So this is a hardcore server. So hardcore means less health. That also means that Duels are more lethal, shorter, less jumping around each other. <laughs> more getting to the point. That also means it's harder to run to an enemy and knife them. Also, hardcore mode allows you to pick other perk than uh, stopping power because on, on the standard game mode, basically you have to pick uh, stopping power to actually kill anything. While on hardcore, you have freedom to pick other perks, for example, UAV jammer. In my opinion, UAV jammer makes sense only on low number of players. In a crowd, I think it's pointless. Also, it makes sense to stay away from your friendlies when you're using UAV jammer. Mines. Mines are awesome. I use them to, as a sniper to cover flanks. when I managed to place them.
it's not even that I get a score with mine, but it's the fact that uh, I, I detect the enemy that way. So I know I'm in danger. Someone here. We can wait. No way. Come on, guys. Okay, they'll be coming soon here. So they probably activate the mine. Yes, the mine is still there. Okay. They'll activate the mine, and when that happens, I'm running away immediately. Okay, now I'm behind them. Maybe I can get some score finally. Maybe not. UAV jump, of course. Oh, this is a very bad place to be stuck on. Side is busy, so we can circle around. And right in front of me, there's a open space. Oh, maybe the tank can help. Oh, thanks, tank. Oh, of course, hiding behind the tank is not a good idea. Because tanks tend to explode. And this is the turret section of the game. Trying to scout, but I don't see anything around here. I'm just firing blindly because I don't see anything. Now this is going to be interesting. I'm repairing and they are firing. We get nowhere. Until somebody runs out of ammo. Well, day one. Should be an enemy tank coming in. Okay, the tank is done. Well, 
Well, <laughs> he used jib with explosives to kill me. So that's a sophisticated tactic against infantry. He was desperate. I played this game a lot back in 2005. So what I li uh, really liked about Halo were the death matches on small maps. Thanks to the radar you know where your enemies are, so it's not like you're being fired upon from dumb nowhere. So the duels are fair. Plus you have rechargeable shields. So again you have... Uh, Full shields for the next duel. Let's secure this war dog. Something you might want to know about uh, firing from a ghost. Uh, the first three shots are accurate and the rest is uh, going astray. So you fire and burst. Three shots, pause and fire again. Okay, so the strategy with the stalins is just spam grenades, so nothing can get through. Effective but boring. Let's see if I can get through. Not a chance. They get rockets, they get infinite grenades. I don't like this. Yeah, when I go that way, there are plenty of snipers, so... Plasma is slowing down my movement. Let's see if we can pass the snipers. No, we can't. And you can't get to the snipers because uh, it's behind the tunnel. Massacre tunnel. Where everybody is just throwing grenades all day. Like this guy. They've placed tank on a flag so it can get to it. And it shows that this is an old game. 